Alright guys, today we're on Slime Ranchers and we are going to be looking at how to make 10k in your first hour of playing this game. Um, I do not really have a game plan, um, but yeah, my goal essentially is to make 10k in the first hour, so we're going to get right to it. I'll look at the clock once we get started here. Perfect. Alright, so... We're going to start at 10 a.m. essentially my time and first thing I'm going to do is try to collect as much pink slime, food, whatever I can get going right away. Just resources because I can't produce my own yet. Collect them and start generating revenue right away by growing crops. Um, I do regret not putting that carrot in my crop right then and there. That was a big time mistake. Another huge time grab um, my first time doing this was going out at night time, venturing out at night time. It wasn't effective. So, And another thing was fully extending to the end of this part of the map. I, I really didn't find it necessary um, when I started doing this. This is as far as I really needed to go. But yeah, try to avoid going in this area. It's not really necessary most of the time. So the important thing about this game is diversifying the market, making sure you have different kinds of slimes. And that's what I'm trying to do by collecting the tabby slimes. I didn't really collect the blue slimes that which produce blue plort. But um, yeah, that was probably not the brightest thing, but I had a... After I got into the game, I figured out what I could do to make money faster by looking at the market. And here I am collecting the pink plort and mixing the money it's going to cost me to put high walls. And as you can see here, I'm really having difficulty collecting the plort. And I found a trick. Just be like the plort collector, which is a, um, a tool in this game that you can use to collect the plort for you just stand at the corner of the post and suck and for some reason it was working for me at sometimes it did sometimes it don't it must be where I'm pointing but yeah yeah so essentially what I'll be doing the most of the time is going out here and collecting things and make use of those four slots by um, collecting stuff that you can collect lots of like I'm not gonna hold the chickadee because there's not a surplus of chickadees and it's not worth my time or value so instead I can collect the whole ton of plort I get rid of the carrot to collect this blue plort just to get some coin in my pocket yeah you have to learn how to prioritize what you're gonna be taking back with you because each trip is time and you'll see me check the watch a couple times throughout the game I've I've wasted so much time already I can see if I had if I could go back and do it again or if I were to go back and do it again there's definitely more um, efficient ways to do this. Like I've already mixed the Largo without having high walls. That was um, a huge time grab. Do not do that when you're doing this yourself. Don't make Largo before putting high walls on your corral. Like it's not, no, don't do that. And I mix these guys with pink slimes, not just because they were easy to find, but they'll eat anything so I can grow fruit for a guy that needs meat or veggies for a guy that needs meat which makes this a very easy way to get the plort and just effective in it and you're still you're seeing me here messing around with the dang largo bouncing out like i just I really regret doing that like you're seeing all the time like what am i doing what a waste it's, i just kill it i just can't i can't handle it and the reason why i'm so concerned with that is because i don't want them to eat my crops when they grow and I'm not used to having the low grade crop, so I was really worried about it, but he, the crops take forever to grow when you're first starting out. So this is great for beginners that are trying to start out and make that quick buck. You can see I start collecting the rock slime already. Again, I kind of wish, oh no, rock plort. I kind of wish I had it gone with the blue slime a little bit earlier, but I didn't. Do you see it's starting to get darker, so I'm just heading home. 
again, not really worth it to be out there. You can die. That costs time. Dying is really ineffective for a time for trying to create this much money in an hour. And once you get your farm built up, making 10k an hour is a joke. But when you first start, it's not it's not so easy. Your first student K and there's a lot of ways to invest that. You could invest it in the lab, which I do not recommend if you're just starting, but you can invest it in getting port collectors. And that's what I do right here is I get port collector right away. I cannot handle, it's not time. If it's a huge time grab, really um, trying to collect the port yourself. I do not mind feeding them myself though. And right here I should really be sleeping. I purchased the high walls before I go to bed so I can keep that guy. And I think I left one out there. Doesn't cause any problems for me, fortunately, because I collected my crop before I went to bed. Uh, every time I pass by the collect plort button, I try to, if it's not gonna take me a lot of time. Pulling veggies out of the ground. One of the things I kind of regret, it's time consuming. It's better to wait for them to drop. Unfortunately, waiting for them to drop allows them to Well, that was the slime to eat them. Sorry, I had a yawn there. Um, yeah, again, just I'm I'm pretty much grinding. I'm going out collecting resources and bringing them back to my farm to feed the slime I have. Um, and I think at this point I've come up with the plan of getting a jetpack after I have some stable income coming through, and I really want my farm to be able to excel with crops. So. First, I prioritize getting basic revenue, pretty much passive income of in the game, if you want to call it, even though you are working for it. Um, yeah, but when I'm not there, the crops will be growing. The slimes will be producing what I need them to produce. And again, I'm having a hard time keeping them in there. Maybe I should have bought a music box, but I just couldn't afford it. I didn't feel at the time. I probably, buying a music box, I probably would have made my money back by not dealing with them. And I bought an internet. I couldn't handle them jumping out. Again, don't waste your time doing that. If you don't make Largo right away, you'll save yourself a lot of time and hassle with that. Jumping down here, not recommended. It's kind of recommended only if you're run out of resources. I don't know why I did that. And I usually get lost on this game. I don't think I have the home icon on because I know this area quite well. But yeah, having that on is definitely a must for this, especially for me. It's a grind. It really is. You see me getting pink port. But 10k in your first hour of playing the game, you don't even really have to learn what you're doing. I can tell you the upgrades you need right here. Or if you just want to start a new game and grind out 10k real fast, that's how you do it. And after that, you'll just keep making more and more. It grows exponentially, really. And you can see the market here. My pink port's gone down. Even my blue port's gone down. It should go up. Or it might have went up. I don't know if I misread that. But um, it costs... Um, when you put certain things in, they decrease in value. And that's why it's important to diversify. I don't know why the... Oh yeah, I did put blue port in earlier, but you have to diversify what you're putting in there. So if you only had pink and blue, eventually you're going to be worth almost nothing. So by getting a different kind of slime, I'll be making so much more money. And that's what I realized really fast. Like $6 a plort is not going to get me the 10k I need in an hour. Oh, carrots. I went with carrots because they do produce quite a bit. Um, I like pogo fruit more because they fall from the tree. I don't know why, but I do like fruit more. But carrots are very effective. Carrots and pogo fruit are the only two I'd recommend. And that's what I use in my base game is carrots and plort. So, I mean, bleh, pogo fruit. But uh, drop chickens. Don't let chickens take up space. They are not worth it. The only reason I have that chicken on me right now is in case I find a lucky slime and get like 400 and I made a mistake and I did see here a lucky slime and it cost me. The only time you really might want chicken is if you have nothing else to feed your slime but at that point you should be growing crop and just going to bed. Going to bed will make you more money. Go to bed as often as 
effectively possible, I guess. Another thing I learned was feeding them by yourself. Go around. Don't just shoot them in one wall of the corral. Rotate around it. It feeds the slimes evenly because you'll have like half the thing fed and half of it not fed and you're missing out on plort that way. So make sure you're evenly dispersing it. Right away, I say, hey, I need another garden. I'm not making enough crops yet. Uh, maybe if I had to do it again, I wouldn't have done it that way. I would have gotten the grow crops faster and went to bed on that and just kept going to bed because going to bed doesn't take that much time and it saves you a heck of a time. What do I get? Power core, get power core, get the boots thing. Not being able to sprint is a pain in the butt. Um, I needed this upgrade. I just, I couldn't. And with the jetpack, it'll be useful later. And I think I started figuring out, yeah, I started figuring it out here. Oh, every time you fall asleep, like, I guess every few days in the game, they give you an upgrade. So I started falling asleep quite a bit. And I advanced quite a bit in this game really fast. Well, 10K is a lot in an hour. And I was really hoping I achieved the 10K in exactly an hour, but we'll see. So this is pretty much what I do basically for the whole time until I eventually I make some upgrades. I'm going to skip to that. So I make these upgrades quite fast. So here we are. I'm waiting. I've waited too long at this point. And I wish I had done it earlier. So first thing you got to do is get jetpack. I'm going to go to sleep here. Get jetpack. Um, get air nets. Get high walls. Get veggies with sprinklers. You do not need to get nutrient soil. But you do need sprinklers real bad. So get sprinklers on both of your um, crops. And get air nets and high walls on both. And a plort collector on both of your things wait for the plort collector on your second cage because you will not be using it and that is funding you could use for something else at the moment but you'll get that money in no time later so yes upgrading is very important and here i got the tank booster and that's why i said okay I'm spending too much time here i look at the clock i'm starting to run down i'm past around halfway I, need, I wanted to get my stamina up because I wasn't sure I would make it. And of course, I get that third stamina upgrade later on. But it, I don't think I end up buying it because I've already made my trip. And here's me making my trip. This is how you like really start boosting your equity. Um, sorry, your income. Fast. You make it. Yeah, I think I tried to come here before and I get boom slime because I know they're worth a crap holy ton and you can't get them for where I'm from, uh, from home, where I'm from. <laughs> um, I do not grab pink slime, even though I have one in my thing, I'm pretty sure I'll get rid of that. And I do not grab blue slime because it's a waste. Hop onto this pole and fail miserably and realize there's a tunnel that will carry you up there. Um, fairly attempt to get on there. And then try to hop onto here like an idiot and jump over this wall that was totally unnecessarily jumped. You could have just walked around. So don't do stupid stuff like that. Nice. And I died. That's actually when she jumps in front of me. She, she walks right in front of my screen at this point. I am raging that she walked in front of the thing. But, you know, it's whatever. I still make time B. So again, evac uh, like get rid of all possible distractions in the room if you're trying to do this, because um, it can cost you a huge amount of time. Like that's a death. I had to get all the way back across, collect all the resources again. It's a huge waste of time. My farm starved of food. Try to collect that gold plort. Turns out that's not gonna happen, ever. It doesn't happen. You can't farm gold plort as far as I'm concerned. And for some reason, when I come here, I go the long way every time. Like, it's like I didn't learn. And I gave up on that. That wasn't happening. 
I probably should have grabbed more boom port and that's something I regret. I picked up, uh, I mean, boom slime. I picked up the puddle port right there because of one second. The, because of the cost of it in the market was so high. I couldn't not, I tried sucking that up. That's not even, I'm embarrassed, but, uh, here I am trying to pick up the rad slime to diversify what I got going on here. And I have slime in your thing. And that's why it's so important to pink slime. It's so important to keep your inventory empty. I spent so much time shooting stuff out and shooting stuff in. Just keep it empty. Don't grab anything you don't need. Here we go. Air dive or air drive. That would have been nice to have uh, a long, long time ago. <laughs> but again, I can't really afford those things at this time. This is me trying to find my way back home. Don't get lost. Like, huge amount of time wasted. I have no idea where I am right now. Like, I know now, but before I was so kerfuffled and worried I had no idea like no clue like you can see I'm just I'm debating everything and I'm hoping hoping that there's something around the corner like I, I remembered a little bit but I wasn't sure and don't take and here I'm realizing oh that's where I could, like I felt like an idiot Oh God. <laughs> so I finally make it back home. Get rid of all the blue plort because I don't want that in my area causing tar. Yeah, avoid tar by all means. Collecting the carrots. Hopefully I don't have any bad ones. Looks good. And fortunately, rad slime eat veggies so that's why I continued growing veggies because I knew rad slime would do that and they'll eat those and fortunately since they'll eat those they will consume and I'm on the grind now now I'm here to make money but they will consume those make plort and meat or I guess transform into largo boom slime rad boom slime yeah now I'm on the grind I have two cages. I probably should have focused more on the rad boom slime to make money. But right now, blue plort is so high. I, that's that's why I kind of regret not grabbing it. Because that's a lot of extra money. If I had done one big load of rock plort, I would have made a lot more money a lot faster. Again, diversifying is key. I make another trip. Honestly, just so I can get more boom slime and or rad slime. And I probably should have went and got purple plort or blue rock plort rock slimes. And I probably should have picked up something else possibly. But I didn't and I do regret that. I feel like this trip was possibly a huge waste of time. And I'm on day eight. So it gives you a basic timeline, even with me sleeping. Of how long this should take you. And I'm not only having 10 grand here. You have to also realize I have 10 K plus I have upgraded gardens I have upgraded corrals um, I have an upgraded character so I'm definitely racking in more money than 10k but I want to see that pretty number and at a thousand at this point it wasn't looking so good but this really does show you I'm still I've decided no I'm not taking the blue slime there Again, I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. No clue. I 
I'm debating jumping down there, but I have no idea where I am. So I go through the t tunnel again and realize it's a key. Crap. Again, don't get lost. Know where you're going. If you're just starting, you'll find your way back. And it's really hard to die in this game other than falling into water. It's the only way I've ever died in this game. So you don't have to worry about that. So just take your time if you are beginning. This is still a great method if you don't know how to speed run it. And man, just failing jumps, just not being patient. Oh, wow. Don't. I didn't even bother with the Tars. Like, you can die. I, I can't even fight you. Yeah, be patient. And here. Oh, here's the trick. Yeah, tap the A button. Like, let go at certain points. Especially if you're just trying to get distance. Sorry, yacht again. Uh, especially if you're trying to get distance because it doesn't carry you up, but after you've already moved forward, you'll still go forward. So if you're higher than the point you're trying to go, you can let go at times to preserve some of that jetpack to get extra distance out of it. Here we go. This is the truth right here. Big mistake is not taking all four types of plort I was producing. Always take all four types of plort that you're producing. And another big mistake was um, putting more of my carrots into things that aren't high in the market. So if rad plort and boom slime so our boom plort were higher. I should have put most of my carrots for that day after sleeping in there. I purchased tank booster. Definitely a good investment. Probably should have got power core. Don't think I did. I think I decided that was good. Yeah, I decided that was good. Um, yeah, you definitely want to max out your plort collector as high as you can. And I could have just kept sleeping till morning, probably till I got the level whatever. I don't know how it's actually unlocked. I think it is by day. And here's my system. You can see it less than like... Wow, yeah. Less than like three minutes. I'm getting thousands of dollars. Like... There you go, hundreds of dollars, sorry. Be careful. Uh, boom Slime and Rad Slime are dangerous to work with. They're not once you're a higher level, but at this point with only 100 HP, they can really uh, drain your cash flow. That was an error again. There's time. But... Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Eat the veggies, they explode like crazy. Definitely have to have an air net. For sure. Or else you will have huge problems. Tap that poor button. You do not have to deliver the thing every time. I do. Because I'm afraid of my thing overflowing eventually. And I, I want to make my trips efficient and this was probably not the most efficient. I probably should have made a trip like that every two days and left one open like only didn't take pink port until that second day to make it one full trip for everything so I can pick up the carrots still. But you don't have to do that because I got it done this way. You can see I'm getting smarter with my rounds here. Shooting carrots as the plort's being collected. Like, just things like that it adds up. And I'm interested to see the board here. To see how me diversifying what is lower and what I should have been putting more money into. Pink plort's not so good. Boom slime is decent. 
and Rad Slam is decent. So I should again, like I suspected, is put more money into the Rad Port and Boom Slam. And here I am, uh, 74% of the way, 74.46% of the way, and I'm panicking. It's crunch time. I get messy actually. I really start panicking because I do not want to do this hour again. Because I wanted to get it done for you guys in under an hour or an hour and less. And it is a challenge for me this first time around. Probably, I probably would have had more time if I did it again. Just because I, I realized the errors I had made. Had made. Oh yeah. Uh, stuff I can't collect. And here I go. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. And I feel close. I'm close. I probably will have to make another day. With my luck, I'm gonna have to do one more day. Yeah, one more day. Sleep until morning, baby. And I have about maybe three minutes left here. They are starving looking, man. They are, they think they're going to die. Oh, I didn't grow up crop in my second thing. So I think I might even have to do another day. Oh, I'm a fool. I was really disappointed in myself. Don't forget to put your crops where they need to go. Oh, another day is needed. Foolish, man. I don't even think I put it in the third day. No, because I thought I was going to do it. I put it all in the rad slime. Collect it. I almost 62 health. We have made over 10,000 coins in under an hour. It certainly was not easy. But if you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you just like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.